Welcome back to Angie's Art and Crafty Creations. I am Angie and I am the creator of the content on this channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much. Today's video is going to be another Tumblr and this one was made for a very dear, special little girl, um, my granddaughter Kehlani. She has is currently obsessed with Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, and I got some new tumblers from Steel Magnolia that you are able to pop the bottom out of them and make them into little shakers or fill them up with glitter or what have you. Snow globes, you can add water into it. Um, but this little beauty I created for her. Super cute. She chose the stickers. I got a pack of 25 and these were the ones that she chose. And for this one, I made a shaker out of it. Some little stitch um, phyllo clay pieces and some other little trinkets in there. Um, if you'd like to see how I created this, let's get on into it. All right, so this little 12 ounce stubby has been sanded. I have popped the bottom off of it. It is ready to be painted. So I'm gonna put it in my little spray paint booth here that I got for my birthday. I love this. It is wonderful for Kentucky because it's way too cold outside. So I'm gonna get a nice even coat on here and it'll be ready for the next step. All right, so my spray paint is all dry, nice and beautiful. And so I don't recall if I said, but this is called Splash by Color Shot. Um, I love this spray paint, works really well. All right, so what I'm gonna do here now is take the glitter glue and put it on here. And again, I don't think I'm gonna really focus with the inside of this because I'm going to use glitter in there along with my little trinkets, my stitch trinkets that I'm gonna put in there, so. Okay, so I'm gonna use this glitter glue that I got from Colorflex, use my little makeup brush that I purchased at Walmart and get a nice even coat on here all the way around and on that outer rim and get it set up for the glitter. The glitter I'm using here is Royal Princess. It's a metallic. It is by Two Chicks Art. I will have all the products that I use in my description box below, all the links for everything. Tap it off, get that bottom, and then I will go over and make sure I got everything and fix what I need to. And it'll be ready for its next step, which will be... Oh, after I fix my <laughs> my spots that I missed, the next step will be to get it brushed off with a dry brush to spray it with two coats of this clear matte by Color Shot, and then it'll be ready for the next step, which is epoxy. All right, so I have two coats of epoxy on this. And apparently my cup wasn't level <laughs> when I put the epoxy on it because I have a little uh, mushroom bottom, I guess you could call that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my 80 grit sandpaper that I have over my sanding block here. because I'm not really quite sure what grit that is, but I'm going to sand this down. I've already started with a Dremel and uh, not quite what I wanted. So I'm going to take this, sand it down, get it nice and smooth, and then we'll move on to the next step, which will probably be applying the stickers that I have. All right, so I'm gonna focus on the bottom of this because that's where the little mushroom bottom is, top, whatever you wanna call it. I do get the top, but this took me forever. It was hard. <laughs> All right, so after some extensive <laughs> sanding you can still see some sand marks in there but that's okay i do believe it should be fine i'm going to go ahead and apply the stickers that i got so i don't recall if i've said in 
other parts of this video, but this is for my grand, one of my granddaughters, and she is obsessed with Stitch right now. And I ordered these from Munchen, Minchin Shop. I will have the link to that in my description box. But I got 25 of these Lilo, or Stitch, excuse me, Stitch stickers, and these are the six that she picked out. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply them on here. In random areas, being sure to stay away from, not, I, I want to stay somewhat away from the rim because, you know, we need that rim there. All right, so I'm just going to put them on here, pull the stickers off, struggle with them here and there. <laughs> I probably should have uh, taped these to my tumbler first to see the placement because when I pulled them up, you could kind of see where I pulled it up. However, the uh, epoxy does cover it up mostly, but I just peel them off, pull them back on, peel them off, put them back on until I find the correct spot and finally find a happy spot. And then I figured I might need one more and then after trying each one of them to see, I figure I ended up not using any additional ones, just the original six that she had picked out. So I was satisfied right about here. <laughs> it took me a little while to figure it out, but I got All it. All right. So since I have found the placement now, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and put a coat of epoxy on here. And then we will, it should be just one coat of epoxy, possibly two, but then we'll get on to getting the bottom of this done. All right, so this has had its second coat and I'm good with the second coat of it. So this is its final coat. I will, I'm going to go ahead and put the glitter in the bottom now. I have 10 mLs of KS Resins Liquidy Spit Split, uh, excuse me, um, UV Resin, or not UV Resin, but the KS Resins Liquidy Split. I'm going to put about five milliliters into this cup here. So I'll split in half. Well, that's about it. Five milliliters. Yep. All right. And I am going to use this glitter. And dang it, I don't remember which who that glitter is from. Um, just using a baby wipe here to wipe off my stir stick i will find out who i who this is or where i got this from and i will have that in my description but i'm going to use this glitter for the outer ring here so i'm just going to put a cover the top of this you don't want too much because then it won't cure correctly you don't want too little you don't want to be able to caesar it so that's probably good just stir that in here right quick nope actually i want more <laughs> gotta have more glitter Gotta work fast because this is their speed dry fast set. That's what I meant to say. KS resin fast set. <laughs> All right. 
So we're going to take this and very carefully put it in the outer ring. All right, so I am just going to apply this using their stir stick the whole time. I could squeeze the uh, little medicine cup, but I didn't want to get it anywhere else other than that that area, that cavity. So I just very carefully applied it to the edge, making sure to make sure it was even all the way through. Now this one here is from Spin It. Recollect, or no, it's not recollection it's it's spin it i got it from michael's and it uh is called lilac blossom and this i'm going to put a very thin i'm just going to barely cover this because for one my epoxy is getting hard already look at that how hard it is i don't know how hard it is but it's not nearly as runny as it was Look at that coverage there. That's great. So I'm just going to dump this in here and very quickly get it dispersed. Okay, again, I'm going to just spread this out nice and evenly and hurry it, <laughs> do it with a quickness because my fast set was already setting up. Spray it with the torch and just make sure it's nice and level. The self is self leveling, so. That does right, I'm going to let this sit and we'll be back for the next step. We'll add the trinkets in there. All right, so I'm going to take my acetate paper, trace a line around that outer rim on the inside of it, cut the acetate out on the inner side of the black, and then put the uh, trinkets in there, the little phyllo stitch. Um, pieces and there's some some um, little blue crystals some blue balls and some iridescent hearts I sped this part up super fast because I unfortunately as you can see here I had some unleveled UV resin and so I had to struggle with it and figure out you know how in the heck I was going to fix that I was so upset but luckily, my mom's handy-dandy little pliers there came in very handy. <laughs> and so I was able to get it all off and reapply the acetate sheet. I put one layer of the UV resin down, smooth it out with that little silicone tool. Use this UV light that I purchased off of Amazon. And again, I'll have the links in my description box. And then I'm going to take another layer of the UV light or resin and put it over the acetate on that edge. And then she'll be ready for the next step, which will be applying its final coat of um, epoxy on the bottom. I'm using a fast set again for that. So just there we go. Alrighty, so I have five mLs. Two and a half of part A, two and a half of part B of Chaos Resin's um, Liquidy Split Fast Set. I am going to smooth a layer on top of this, being sure to stay underneath the lip so that, again, it can still stay sit level. to this edge right here. All right, so I'm just gonna spread this out as evenly as possible. Epoxy is self-leveling, so as long as you have it on a flat surface, it'll level out. I'm just going to try to push that to the edge of the outer rim of the tumbler to um and try to make sure that i don't go over the edge because then it will be uneven it wouldn't sit flat so once i got it level i'm going to use my torch to make sure i do uh get it, all the air bubbles out and i also spritzed it with some al isopropyl alcohol 
just to make sure because you could see through that epoxy and here she is he is <laughs> i believe stitch would be a boy in this cartoon in this movie but um i think that this tumbler turned out just simply beautiful my granddaughter is going to absolutely love it and the shaker bottom is just the kicker on this thing it is just an amazing little cup and i'm quite proud of it <laughs> so uh thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up if you are not currently subscribed please consider subscribing i release videos every tuesday and saturday and i just want to say thank you again have a wonderful day evening whatever it may be for you and i will see you in my next video my friend take care and again, I will see you later. Thank you.